back to goldfish for you. As you can see, the spawning mops are not in the pond anymore. So that says the fish spawned. They spawned yesterday, which was Easter Sunday. I took the mop, spawning mops out this morning just to have a look if there was any fun on, on them because the spawn didn't look that interesting really. I mean, they, they weren't really going crazy or anything like they normally do. Um, but they're covered in eggs. I don't know if you can see some in here. The orange. No, it's not too small, you can't really see. They're all in there though. I put some meth glue in it to try and stop them. Um, any fungus on the eggs and on the free swimmers when they hatch out. I'm hoping because it's an early spawn, we're going to be able to raise them outside in the warm weather, if we get any, and before we have to move them inside for the winter. By that point, I'm hoping we would have sold all the rest that we've got. Uh, as for the Shabunkins, they didn't spawn at all. So I took the spawning mop out. They didn't seem appear, they didn't appear at all interested. Look at that female down there, full of eggs. I just think they're too juvenile. Maybe later in the year they will. I don't know. Anyway, so what else have I been up to today? This being Easter Monday, I've just completed the projects I've been working on for a couple, for a couple of years. Other stuff used to get in the way, so it's time to finish it. Long border, wife wanted it built, so I built it myself. And I've just topped it off with 20 mil um, plum slate chippings. It's not it's not fish related, but you know, still quite nice to have in the garden. And the the other thing is we have two of these. One not so not one not as long as it, that one. We have this one, an eight foot one. And can anyone work out what I'm going to do with it? That's right. I'm going to make a pond out of it. And I'm going to move it from there, from there, and it's going to come here. So it's going to start there, just on the edge of that M sink, which has strawberries in it, and it's going to go all the way down there. And then that's going to be a growing on pond. It's eight foot long by a couple of foot wide. That should be ideal. And then we're going to go with this trampoline and deck this area. So you'll have a patio pond up there, deck area, and another pond here, which would be quite nice. You want to see how the kiddies are doing? I've cleaned out the filters this morning on the main pond and put some more Colin Masters Advantage in it because as it was spawning yesterday, the pond looked terrible this morning. The water clouds were appalling. So I'm hoping once that settles out in about three or four days, the water clouds will come back. My covers are working really great. Happy I did them. Keeping all the rubbish off. The fishes are doing fantastic. Colours have really come out on them now they've been outside. I'll show you the ones in the garage in a second, you'll see the difference in colour. I tend to keep the leads down. Uh, the reason for two filters in here, and these two, is I'm getting them mature because they're going to go in the fry tanks when the um, fry hatch out. These guys are doing alright. I tend to leave this lid up slightly. So that insects and gnats and stuff can get in here and lay their eggs and then they've got more stuff to feed on. They've just had some crab sticks, which they never had before, but they seem to enjoy them. They ate them all up anyway. Anyway, let's go through the ones in the garage. I'll show you the difference in size. Ignore the mess, I've got to tidy up. <coughs> just finished that border. I thought I'd pick up the camera first before I tidy it up. Here they come. They always want feeding. See, the colours aren't quite as bright as the ones outside, not as vibrant. The oranges in the bottom, I've got to go and collect. They do look their oranges. Again, they want feeding. They're not being fed just yet. The black ones are doing alright. We just wish they changed colour. But we shouldn't have that problem this year because we've taken all the black ones out of the main pond. We should get so many. These fishes are still hiding. I've reduced the water height, but they're not feeding, so I've stopped feeding them. And they just seem to be sulking. But we'll get some more in there later. Probably 
tomorrow, day after, and hopefully once I've got enough in there, it'll stop sulking. So, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Finishing my border off. I did say to the wife we shouldn't paint it, paint it cream, but she said, no, no, we, I want it cream. So I painted it cream, but it just looks terrible. So I'm going to have to repaint it, different colour. I want to paint it uh, this colour, I'll show you which colour. I know this isn't goldfish related, but it is sort of. I want to paint it this bluey colour, iris blue. This colour here. Because I think that would look quite nice. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm just about done. I hope you've all had a cracking Easter and a good couple of days off. Um, if you like the video, think about subscribing. helps the channel out a lot. If you did like the video, think about hitting thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit thumbs down, that's fine. If you've got any comments, suggestions, anything to say at all, post them in the comments section below. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Which may be moving this and putting it as a pond. I'm not too sure. We might have a go at that next. I've got to do some more work on it. Because see, it's quite... It's not very sturdy, so I'll have to batten up the inside and probably board the inside up so we get a bit more rigidity, put some insulation in it. But yeah, we're going to do that. That may be on the next video, I'm not sure. Anyway, enough waffle, I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers, bye.